Hey booktube, how's it going guys? Super, I just realized my computer's not plugged in. That should do it, yep. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the world of Raymond Chandler in his own words, edited by Barry Day. Um, I talked about this book in a live stream. Um, some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not. Um, I'm going to be kind of doing an abridged version right now of what I thought of this. Um, and then if you guys saw our Christmas book haul, you'll know that um, for some reason I thought this was a travel log of Los Angeles. Um, I still don't know why I thought that. I wonder if there is a book. If you guys know of a book that's like Raymond Chandler talking about L.A., um, leave it in the comments because I really thought that existed and, um, that's what I thought this was. Um, it's not that, but, um, it was still surprisingly, um, pleasant, I guess. Um, I basically read it in one sitting, so it was good to the point where I didn't want to put it down. So... Um, we will leave it at that. Now, the thing about this book that is confusing, at least in the first chapter, I think after the first chapter happened, I tried to give it the benefit of the doubt, or at least I learned um, how things are. But um, to give you an example of this, I'm going to show you a page out of this book, okay? So here we go. This page, this is just page 20, we have a bunch of quotes, okay? And that's fine. Um, most of these quotes are, well, no, I can't even say that. So... Out of the one, two, three, four, five, six quotes on this page, the first two are quotes from Raymond Chandler in letters that he wrote to two different people. The next is a quote from Raymond Chandler. The next is a quote from George V. Higgins. The next one is a line of dialogue by novelist Roger Wade in The Long Goodbye, which many people think um, was just Raymond Chandler. They think Roger Wade was Raymond Chandler, like in his head when he was writing the book. Um, and then finally, another quote from Chandler to um, a friend of his in a letter. So as you're reading the quotes, again, they're set up to where uh, the person who wrote the quote is at the end of the thing. And most people, when they all see that, they might look and see who said it first. I don't. I read from the top to the bottom. So I'm sitting here reading. I'm like, oh, okay, so that's Raymond Chandler. Okay, okay. And then all of a sudden, um, it's like, he did not write about crime or detection. I'm like, who the fuck's Raymond Chandler talking about? Oh, it's this guy talking about this. Oh, you're looking at a small-time operator in a small-time business. All writers are punks, and I'm one of the punkest. I'm like, oh, did he say that? Oh, no, that was a line that Roger Wade said in The Long Goodbye. Oh, okay. Um, so, there was that. And that might be petty. Okay. Fair enough. So then, we have a paragraph here, written, I'm assuming, by Barry Day. Okay. Now, in this paragraph, there is a quote, and the quote is from Raymond Chandler. Okay? That's fine. And then, when it's more than just a sentence, he'll go into this smaller print, um, stuck in the middle, like, tighter margins or whatever, to do a much longer bit of quoting from Raymond Chandler. <clears throat> so, with all of that said, um, once I got the hang of how this book was written, I really enjoyed it. 
Um, there's tons of great pictures in here that I've never seen before. Um, just amazing stuff. Look, there's Dashiell Hammett, and there's Raymond. You know, you're never supposed to trust a man who smokes a pipe. I've heard that before. Um, so anyway, like, so the book was kind of awkward at first. But then after that, like, once I understood how the, like, how it was formatted and how it was being presented, I really, really enjoyed it. So if you like Raymond Chandler, like a lot, um, get this book. Um, if you just have a mild interest in Raymond Chandler, I would just say read all the Philip Marlowe books. Um... And then maybe pick this up. A lot of the stuff in here I already knew about. But there was some like personal stuff about him from early in his life and later in his life that I wasn't aware of. So that was cool. But like pretty much um, from his like 30s through his 50s I knew about that for the most part. Um, but it was refreshing. It was good. Um, the book was put together really nicely once I figured it out. You guys are probably like, dude, beat a dead fucking horse. Come on. Okay, BookTube. So go check it out if you like Raymond Chandler.